Tyler Gibbons is the owner of Origin Coffee Company in the Rose District. Formerly the Rattlesnake Cafe at South Main in West Dallas, Gibbons opened their doors for Origin's first official day in business at 7 a.m. on Friday. He had no idea a tragedy had occurred just one mile away the night before. We were here most of the day yesterday. Um, we don't remember hearing anything about what that looked like or anything like that. I haven't heard anything on the socials. Broken Arrow Fire Department was dispatched to the 400 block of South Hickory just after 4 p.m. Thursday. Firefighters quickly learned it was a crime scene and the investigation was turned over to the police. When the smoke cleared, investigators were left with eight dead bodies, two adults and six children. None are believed to have died from the fire. The landlord of the property said the family did not seem like a happy one, the wife did not talk much, and the husband gave her a weird vibe. While the incident is being investigated as a murder-suicide, the Broken Arrow Police Department has stopped short of calling this a domestic violence situation, instead stating the two adults are both being investigated as primary suspects. We're told the children's ages range from one year old to 13 years old. It's unnerving to realize that something so terrible could happen so close to home when we think the Broken Arrow is such a safe space. Ryan Nelson was working on her computer at Origin Coffee Company when she learned the news. She tells us when it comes to mental illness and abuse, it seems like there's a lot of work to separate people and not as much emphasis on helping all parties involved. Yes, we bring awareness to it, but it, there isn't like a goal of treating it or goal of helping these families. There's a goal of like, oh, he's abusive, and oh, she's a victim, we need to get them apart. Like, sometimes they just need help, and there aren't enough services offered to those families who need the assistance. Scott Sherwood, another Broken Arrow resident and Origin Coffee Company patron, pointed to the stigma surrounding receiving mental health help. We just have this idea that um, if you need to talk to someone, you need some sort of therapy, you know, there's something wrong with you. And I think that, that uh, you know, culturally wise, we need to shift that kind of talk and focus to promote the, the healthiness of, of speaking about uh, things that you're going through. Sherwood says he also would like to see more action taken to improve serious mental health and family problems before tragedies like this occur. We don't talk about these things preemptively. We always do it as a reactionary thing. And I'd like to see us start being more preemptive in our discussions. Gibbon says he believes all businesses should be a place of comfort with open door policies for people who need help. And that's what they're aiming to be at Origin. I know for women and children specifically, um, they feel like they have nowhere they can go. They feel like they have nobody they can call or trust, even family. He says he hopes the community will view his new establishment as a welcoming one, no matter who they are or what they are going through, and pay it forward with more kindness and compassion for others as well. Whether that's them talking to the barista and just being like, you know what, that guy asked me about how my day was. That's a pretty drastic change in someone's mental health and how they could start their day.